Okay, uh, in this step, we're going to see the arc shell uh, config file. And so again, I'm going to source in arc shell if it's not already sourced in. And, you know, I know this is part of the basic arc shell module. So I'm going to type arc underscore help. And the command to edit the file is arc edit config. That's going to edit my global config file. And you can see I've already got the values set. So I've got my messaging admin email set. Um, I've got messaging admin texts and my uh, messaging from address. A lot of times your SM, SMTP provider will not send uh, you able. It'll just bury the email uh, if you don't have a return address that matches the domain. So I think in this case, I'm on this server, I'm actually using Gmail. Maybe, maybe not might be using a, I can't recall, but, um, it does, I don't think Gmail blocks you because of that, but, um, hover does. So anyway, so we've got all that set up. That's all you need to do is save the file. Um, I'm not saving it cause I didn't make any changes. And let me show you again, what that file is. If we go into our home directory and we go to our global home, which is this arc directory, we go to config and we'll have an arc shell subdirectory. There is a file in there and that is our global config file. That is the file I was just looking at. And so you just need to edit that file and save it. And over time, there will be a lot more values in here. Most of the configuration for arc shell is done in this config folder. It could be config files. It could be like the SSH connections where it's just individual connections and those connections have values inside of them. All of this, uh, Infrastructure is available to you when you do uh, architecture design programming uh, solutions. We can work with you uh, uh, to show you how to do all this and how you read these files from code and all that kind of stuff. And it's pretty cool because you have a, you know, you have an order of precedence here with delivered, uh, so delivered, um, delivered values. So if I'm in my arc shell home, I've got this config directory and I have that arc shell, uh, config file there. So this is the first file that's loaded. And then it goes and looks for uh, this file and it sees it. So it loads that on top of it. Uh, so I actually don't need to define all these values. I only needed to define the ones that I want modified. And if that's not enough, there's a local uh, install, just a local home just for this, this uh, server. And I could define values there, although it's usually better to um, use some shell code to determine, you know, um, what admin email might work. So you might have more than one admin email. And if you had different admins and you could do if then else in here, figure out what environment it is and set that accordingly. Again, if you have any, you know, if you have certain needs, just let us know and we'll tell you how, what the best way to do something is. Um, and. Uh, that's it. So, you know, get, get your arc shell to config, uh, updated. Also, once it's updated, let me show you one more thing, you know, to get that loaded, you need to set arc home equal to nothing and source in arc shell again. Okay. So that will get that reloaded. That's it. Thanks.